Barbara Tree are proving this brand new documentary series just dropped on Netflix called African Queen and Zynga. And when I initially saw the name for this show, I thought this show was from Africa or something because it is a kind of like a tourist based on a true story, like a historical figure there. So I was thinking because there is so many foreign shows are on Netflix and I definitely thought this show was from there. But this show is not actually. So this show is actually produced by Jada Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith. She is the narrator and the executive producer for this show. And the show centers around this African queen named uh, Anzinga. And the show centers around her and her family, how she became the queen. And uh, this show does covers a lot about her, like the time frame she was in power or how she became the queen. Uh, and as a documentary series, uh, I will say it was actually quite well acted from the center actress. Uh, she was quite good in the show and some of the emotional scene and the fighting scene. I thought this actress was really good and so is the other actor were really good. Uh, once again, whenever I watch a show like this, I cannot believe it. I still cannot believe it that back then people were like this you know it's really breaks my heart every time i see any movies like that and i guess hollywood still keep making this kind of movie because <laughs> because these are history you know you go back and you learn something new in this documentary series skates okay so like here is the thing as a documentary series this show is actually quite well narrated by J uh, jada Pinkett Smith and uh, oh, it's quite well acted and some of the production design and the fighting scenes they're actually quite good and there's some people who comes on and tells you about uh, this queen's history how she came to the power and everything else and I personally I actually like Jada uh, Pinkett Smith I think she's good on the screen you know she definitely is a very beautiful person and <laughs> Uh, and she is the producer for this and Netflix by the way quietly dropped this show on their platform like nobody even knows about this show nobody even know the show is from her so obviously they're trying to you know hide her name because at the end of the day nobody wants to see anything to do with Jada Smith Pinkett uh, why can I say her name you know, I, I'll just call her Jada Smith because like end of the day, you know, what she did, you know, last year, which she didn't do anything, but you know how <laughs> indirectly she kind of involved in uh, destroying this one of the famous actor in the world, Earl Smith uh, career, right? Like end of the day, she was behind it. So when you watch this show, you cannot put that thought uh, behind it because we all love Will Smith, you know? <laughs> It does become personal crush anything with her i guess that means her yeah as a like who i because i am a critic so i do have to be honest as a show it is quite inform uh, like informative i would say if you especially if you don't know about this queen how she came to the power and uh, all this thing i think the show does do a good job informing the audience what she was all about only my thing why is jada smith involved in this project that's like throw me off a little bit that means that yeah whenever they are doing any documentary series like that like i do see a lot of people like are coming out and saying this documentary is wrong all this thing uh because i remember when i did coverage on omen king i got a lot of hate by the way i got a lot of hate for liking that movie the omen king so I don't know the history about there, what has happened back then. I have no idea. I'm just giving my opinion based on the show. And I thought the show was uh, interesting. Like I liked checking it out. Like again, I don't know about the history, what she was like in real life. Is it worth telling her story? That also I don't know. I'm just saying as a documentary series, it was interesting. That I like checking it out because like, uh, because this actress, she's really good. I feel like I have seen her somewhere. She was really tough. Uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> when I was watching this show, because I'm a huge fan of this movie called Omen King, uh, I feel like when that movie came out, Netflix saw that movie's success. Like that movie is decently successful, although a lot of people don't like that movie. Uh, I think Netflix looked at that movie's success and they decided to make this one. Uh, that is what I think. Uh, 
because when I was watching it many times, I was thinking about that. While Viola Davis is absolutely amazing in Omen King, but this actress really also rise here. Uh, I was like, she's really good. All the side characters are good also. And uh, I, I enjoyed it, I guess. <laughs> now, I, I, I don't know how will uh, people react to my review. But, like I'm getting, giving it, this is a good review because I already saw a lot of people on IMBD. They didn't like this show. I could imagine some people will not like my review. Uh, that's okay. Still, I have to be uh, tell you what I think about it based on this uh like a documentary series because this kind of story well i don't know again if it's true or false what telling you know uh that means uh, yeah i i do wish like whenever they're picking a project they would uh, pick like it's like based on a like clear cut uh i don't know how to say this like as a clear cut good guy story you know because i did see some people are mad at this documentary so i don't know well this documentary itself is definitely was uh well put together i will say and that's my thought on this let me know in the comment what do you think about this documentary series if you enjoyed my best review don't forget to share my review on omen king if you enjoyed my review don't forget to subscribe and until i see you next time please take care